Jana Lee Randall. I'm doing marine and freshwater biology. So year one, you do uh, modules that all people in IBIS do. So it's quite good because it allows you to actually be sure that you want to do marine biology. Second year, you have more options available to you. So you can choose modules more within your interest. One that I really enjoy was marine um, macrophytes, um, which was the study of seaweeds and now I'm actually doing my dissertation on seaweeds. So yeah, the modules allow you to find your interests and then allow you to pursue something, you know, for your dissertation that you enjoy. I mean, <laughs> look at it. It's a great environment, um, but one of the things that stood out to me was when I went on the open day, every member of staff that I spoke to sounded really passionate about what they were doing. And I thought, well, if I have a lecture by one of these people, they're going to inspire me to find my interest, to do what I want to do. The labs are really well set out and they have TV screens at the front of the lab. Um, so it means that a demonstrator can be in a different room but still show you what to do. You can also hear through a microphone. Not only that, but um, the lab technician Gareth, if you ask him for any kind of you know, equipment, he'll be more than happy to help you out. If I was to pinpoint one thing, it'd probably be the Portugal field trip in June. And even though it was quite intense, I had the best week, you know, I had the best week, it was great. And, you know, you got to do your own mini project, which was the first opportunity that we got to do that. So it allowed us to prepare for our dissertation as well. Yeah, um, last year, which was also through an email that I got sent, out, I went to the Maldives. Um, and did a coral reef ecology course. It was really interesting actually. It was lecture based, so we're on an um, island called Bavaru. We'd have lectures in the morning about a certain aspect. It could be coral disease, you know, coral degradation, coral surveys, and then after lunch in the afternoon, we'd go snorkeling and look at these diseases um, and end up doing surveying on them. If you want to get involved in other things, we often get emails sent out so even though it's not necessarily a university involved thing, you get the email and then you, through your own work, can get positions. So with that, this year I ended up going to Thailand. I did a marine conservation internship. Uh, I really like it, personally, because I've come from a really small town. So for me, going to the city wouldn't be suited towards my interests and what I've grown up to know. On. Um, but at the same time, even though it's town, it's town, there's plenty to do and there's so many societies, it's you know unbelievable. When I got my first student finance instalment, I worked out how many weeks there was in the term, divided all the costs, and I knew how much I could spend in a week. And through that, I actually ended up saving money because um, I was just, yeah, I was just really careful with it. You know, as long as you know what you can spend in a week, you know, that's really helpful. I'm quite fortunate in the fact that I know my interests. So I'm really interested in the climatic influence on the ocean and anthropogenic influences as well. So I'm hoping to go somewhere with that. But I want to keep my options open and see what opportunities come up. I wouldn't change it for the world. And you know, I've been an ambassador for Open Days and people always ask me, oh, you know, you know, do you really like being here? I said, well, let's put it this way, I've not been home this year. Like I stayed in Aberystwyth over summer. So that's how much I enjoy being here, yeah.